James Webb is breaking science with its new, even more record-breaking images than its previous record-breaking images. I'm Eric Malachite, and we're talking about some intriguing candidates for earliest galaxy ever. Back in 2020, NASA, in conjunction with the ESA, released an image of what was then the oldest galaxy ever captured by Hubble. Dubbed GN Z11, this distant pixelated point of light was and is believed to be 13.4 billion light years from us. Or, in other words, a snapshot taken as this thing was 420 million years after the Big Bang. James Webb's GLASS program stands for Grissom Lens Amplified Survey from Space, and it's a program that aims to study galaxies captured by the gravitational lensing effect created by galaxy cluster ABLE 2744. This galaxy is so big that its gravity actively distorts its surroundings, allowing us to effectively see much further back in time than we were previously able to do with Hubble's extreme deep field. Pretty cool stuff. But now, with James Webb starting its actual scientific mission, we've got some candidates that may be as young as 200 million years removed from the Big Bang. That's not even close to the most surprising thing about these new candidates. After all, we knew James Webb would be able to do this. What's more surprising is that these candidates all seem to hint at something that could break current theories surrounding the early forming universe, should the findings be confirmed. And this really needs to be emphasized before we go any further. None of this stuff is confirmed or peer-reviewed yet. Astronomers are going to have to confirm these new redshift values through a lengthy technique known as spectroscopy. Still, the possibilities surrounding these new images are extremely exciting. And if these new redshift values are confirmed, then we're going to see a massive shakeup in theories surrounding what's known as the cosmic dark ages of the universe, i.e. the time after the Big Bang. This here is Glass Z13, one of those aforementioned candidates for oldest galaxy ever. With a diameter of 4,500 light years, Glass Z13 is not exactly massive when it comes to the Milky Way. But at the time of its formation in the early universe, it's thought that this would have been pretty large compared to other galaxies. GNZ11's redshift value was 11.6, or 420 million years removed from the Big Bang. For those who are unaware, redshift is defined as the displacement of spectral lines as they move into longer wavelengths, and red is the end of that spectrum. The light that we see coming from our sun is blue-shifted, meaning that it is contracted. Red-shifted light, however, is more stretched out. This happens as a natural consequence of the universe's continuing expansion, meaning that objects we see far away are always going to appear to be moving much faster, sometimes even appearing to be moving at the speed of light. This is an illusion created by the physical expansion of space that we'll have to cover in a longer video, though. We're able to tell how far an object like GNZ11 is in relation to the Earth based off of the degree that its light is redshifted. Glass Z11 and Glass Z13's redshift values are between 11 and 13, at least before confirmation. This means that Glass Z13, at least, could be as old as 300 million years post Big Bang. But what might surprise you is that James Webb has captured data on candidates that could have redshift values as extreme as 20, which is nuts to think about. In fact, the total number of potential galaxies that have a redshift beyond 11 is 88. Okay, so if we don't have definitive confirmation about these redshift values, why are we talking about them? Well, let's get into that now. In addition to these new, potentially record-breaking images being some of the youngest galaxies we've ever observed, the new data could end a long-standing debate in cosmology. It turns out that each of these candidate images contains convincing evidence that these galaxies emitted large amounts of ultraviolet light, which probably means that there was plenty of it present, and this is what most likely ionized hydrogen gas in the early developing universe. A new paper offered by C.T. Donnan outlines this very clearly, suggesting that ultraviolet light light is associated with young, hot stars. No, not that kind. The more young, hot stars in the early universe, the more ultraviolet light you get. Donnan suggests that given the data that's been collected, there would have been plenty of stars to aid in the ionizing of hydrogen gas. But James Webb's GLASS program surveys an area of sky equal to 50 square arc minutes. That's an area of our night sky larger than the full moon. So if they can prove that other parts of the sky offer similar results, 
then this might show that galaxies in the early universe formed extremely quickly, which will, if confirmed, possibly illuminate the concentrations of normal matter and dark matter at that time as well. I hope you enjoyed this short science video, and be sure to check out our longer videos like this one on exotic forms of ice that is sure to blow your freaking mind. Be sure to do all that algorithmic jazz and join our Discord community to chat with science nerds like you. And hey, check out all those wonderful names. Thank you, patrons. I'm Eric Malachite, and I'll see you next time, Space Cowboy.